some members of the Lance Cunningham family were on board the Titanic, heading on their family holiday to France. They were sailing from Southampton to Cherbourg, ultimately heading to Paris in France. Their ticket was ticket number 84, and it cost a grand total of £3. The members of the family that were on board were Eileen Lennox Cunningham, who was aged 11, who wrote a letter from on board the Titanic, her younger brother Dennis, who was 7 years old at the time, her mother, Barbara Lennox Cunningham, and her aunt, Alice Lennox Cunningham. The Lennox Cunningham families all said that they were not very good sailors and were often prone to being seasick. So they decided to go on the Titanic because Barbara Lennox Cunningham, Eileen's mother, believed it to be the safest and steadiest ship in the world. On Wednesday the 10th of April 1912, the family made their journey across from Southampton to Cherbourg just for a day's journey. Whilst on board, some members of the family decided to write letters from the Titanic. Eileen's is one of them. She wrote hers to her nursemaid, Louisa Sterling, who was currently staying in Little Bray in the Republic of Ireland with her father, Eileen's father, Reverend George, and Eileen's younger brother, Alwyn. Alice Lennox Carnegie, her aunt, also wrote a letter from on board. She wrote this to her nephew, Alan Duff, who was over in Cambridge at the time. The letter subsequently went up for auction um, as it was passed down to Alan's descendants and is currently residing in a pub in Dublin. This letter has the envelope with it and we know from this that it was posted in Queenstown which is why we believe that Eileen's letter followed the same route from Queenstown up to Little Bray. Louisa took the letter with her as she moved back to Yorkshire and eventually got married and had her own daughter who was called Patricia Eileen which is quite nice because we like to feel that she probably had such a close connection to Eileen that she named her daughter after her. Patricia inherited this upon her mother's death and decided to put it up for auction and she went to a Phillips gallery over in England who at first thought the letter might be a forgery but then upon looking up the manifest of the ship realised that Lennox Cunningham's were indeed passengers. By this time Eileen Lennox Cunningham had married and had become Eileen Schaefer and she was living over in America with her family over there just on the outskirts of Washington and she found out about the letter going up for auction in the Washington Post. This was in the early 80s, so by this time, Eileen herself was also in her early 80s. She sent over her nephew's wife to go and purchase the letter from the auction for her, and it was brought over to America and stayed with Eileen for the rest of her life until she died in 1993 at the age of 93. Her son, Anton Schieffer, inherited the letter, and he kept it, and it's his bequest that has allowed the letter to come back to Spring Hill today. The letter was returned to us at the end of 2011, which made it nicely in time for the 2012 commemoration of the Titanic that's going across all over Northern Ireland. And it's quite nice as well that it's just almost exactly 100 years later that the letter has finally come back home to Spring Hill.